in brief a Sky News presenter has faced backlash for an interview on housing Jane Secker told housing campaigner Kirsty Archer about why landlords aren't to blame Secker is a landlord herself and used the interview to speak about her experience a Sky News presenter apologized after they used an interview about housing to talk about issues they'd had with the tenants. Clearly yesterday I got the tone and content of an interview wrong and it has upset many people. I am sure many of us will have made a mistake at work. Unfortunate for me mine is a lot more public than most. Please be assured I have taken the many comments on board. Mea culpa. Jane Sekuski, a Jane Sekuski, April 16, 2019 In the interview, Jane Secker told housing campaigner Kirsty Archer it was not the landlord's fault that an average of £2,000 was required in fees and deposit to rent a property in London. Ms Secker, who has been a director of a registered property company, said, that's just the housing market isn't it, and the landlord would have the same issues if you decided to move out. She then went on to describe her own experiences as a property owner. Some would say, and I am speaking as somebody who has rented flats, and who also rents flats out, that especially with the younger generation in terms of renters, you very often find that tenants don't really know how to do a great deal in homes, she added. Not warned, Ms. Archer said on Twitter she was not warned that the presenter doing the interview would be a landlord herself, or that the former foreign correspondent would be drawing on these experiences. Seca also said during the segment, I, for example, have had tenants complaining because lights have popped, because they don't know how to change light bulbs. I've had tenants complaining about the heating, they haven't turned the boiler on. Read more section 21 notice, how changing housing act to ban no fault evictions will change renting, it's just very obvious things. If you lived in a home that you owned, nobody would be able to fix these things for you. They are just things that actually often require a bit of common sense. Addressing her interview subject once more, Seka asked, Have you found amongst your friends that you perhaps aren't equipped with all the necessary skills to rent? MPs gave the support to Kirsty Archer after seeing the interview, photo by Christopher Furlong, Getty Images, fought back Ms. Archer hit back, that's a bit patronizing really, I mean, we weren't complaining about things like a light bulb. If a landlord was getting pissed off by that would be that surely the reasonable thing to do would be to communicate with each other and resolve that. Why should the consequence of that be hitting the eject button and turning tenants lives upside down like that? Shocked response MP for Tottenham David Lammy responded to the interview online. He said, shocked by the condescension and lack of humility here. Renting is not a choice. People need somewhere to live. The housing market, particularly in London, is broken. We need to rebalance the rules in favour of tenants. Shocked by the condescension and lack of humility here. Renting is not a choice. People need somewhere to live. The housing market, particularly in London, is broken. We need to rebalance the rules in favour of tenants. Pick.twitter.com slash h1 bug poydg. David Lammy at David Lammy, April 16, 2019. Moose Archer thanked everyone for the support on Twitter and said, Wow. What a day. Just wanna say thank you for all the amazing support and kind words from everyone on here. It's been a silver lining to a really s asterisk 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 y situation. And no I will not apologize for swearing lol, Labour MP for crew. Try living in the real world. Well done Kirsty, let's blog ads. Why?